Hi everyone, Josh Maddie here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. Anyways, so I went to the store and I purchased something for myself. Um, I got this Louis Vuitton, I think it's called a City Keep All. So it's a little tiny baby duffel bag. Isn't it cute? Um, I have customized it a little bit. Like I put some stuff on the outside because I haven't really done anything to it except put like zipper cream on it. But let's get into the bag. So I really like these kind of bags that are like the D, how do you see? Can you see like a D shape? A D shape, um, like a dump bag almost, um, because they can just hold a bunch of stuff. I don't really like a structured bag, as my husband can tell you, like I don't like a structured bag because I feel like whenever you have a structured bag and you put something in it that doesn't fit or it's not the same shape, you lose that structure and it looks kind of goofy. So I like a, a squishy bag, not necessarily a non-structured floppy, like bow, hobo, bobo, bobo, chic bag, but like just like a normal bag that will have some kind of structure without it being too crazy. So um, this bag retails for I think like $3,200. Um, I initially had another one and then it was way too small for like all this stuff I was carrying around and it was just, it was more for like a younger person I think because it was like a fanny pack type situation and I'm not a fanny pack. At work, yeah, but not outside in public. <laughs> so I ended up taking it back, but this one I went and I saw it and I was in love. So I got this one. This was the last one in the store, the last one in the state. The only other one is in Vegas and there's only one and it's gray and I don't really care for gray. I like black bags because you can't see how they're dirty. Anyway, so this bag is made of leather. Um, it's not that, I don't know what kind of leather it is. I'll put it in the description. Um, but yeah, and it has some of these like accents where it's like black, matte black, um, hardware. Um, and then she was trying to sell me on these, um, this strap because it was a hand woven strap. And I was all, who wove it? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, where did they weave it? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, well, don't tell me about it because I'm gonna ask questions. But I do like the hardware. I do like they do have a D-ring. I would have wished that was one inside too to clip my keys to. Cause, because without it, my car, um, it doesn't have that when you walk up to it or whatever and it just unlocks. You have to physically unlock it with the key thing. So I, I have to keep it here so I don't lose it in my little bag. Um, also, like I said, the D-ring's on the outside so it kind of like lets you customize it a little bit. It does have this LV, like I like that this one, like you have to look at it and kind of know that it's a fancy bag, not just like, I'm not just gonna advertise for them, I want people to know who will know my stuck symbol. But it has this like metal um, LV right here and obviously like the little pieces of metal all around um, to keep it all together. Uh, but it, it's a solid bag. I just took it with me to Albuquerque, flying back home real quick over the weekend, and it was amazing. It tipped over and it was my fault, so all my stuff fell out, but I was able to shove everything back in because it's not a structured bag. I just shoved everything in and it just held everything. That being said, it does have this uh, zipper. The only thing is that it is painted, so I know it's gonna just chip off eventually and then I'll have to get it repainted. But I don't really care because it just looks cool. It looks shiny and fancy and I don't know, it just looks glittery. And I'm a simple beast. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, it has a zipper. I love bags that have like a double zipper because I feel like double zippers were designed and they weren't just thrown on there as an afterthought. So this one does have a double zipper. Um, you can see that these ones, um, although they are like matte black and they're not really made for it, you can stick one of the Louis Vuitton locks in here if you really wanna leave it around somewhere. I wouldn't leave this bag because it's cute enough. Someone might just walk off with it. <laughs> um, so I'll show you kind of like what's inside. I'll keep a mask. Um, this wallet, they had some of these, but I don't know. Like, I didn't really like them because they were very structured. This is microfiber. <laughs> uh, hand sanitizer. Clorox wipes. You never, I don't trust nobody. Some obsidian. What else is in here? My glasses, my sunglasses. A little battery for my cell phone. And that was like one of the biggest things is like my cell phone actually fits in here. I'm filming on it now so I can't show you guys. But I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max Plus whatever, the big one. And it didn't fit in my little fanny pack one. And it was like, 
This is like the only thing I could put in here. It's not worth it. So I ended up taking it back. Stress relief, smells, cologany, my medicine for migraines. That's like part of the reason I keep a bag on me all the time because I have that and I have my inhaler. So I always keep a bag because I always have to have those two emergency things because they can't come out from anywhere where I could either get a migraine or not be able to breathe and then it would be really bad. So I try to keep them with me at all times. Some, smack, some lip smack. Um, but yeah, in the inside, it's just like a normal bag. I did see some reviews, but I couldn't really understand him because I think he was um, in the Philippines. So I couldn't really understand what he was saying. I understood most of it though. But yeah, it's just like a regular little dump bag. Um, it does have this inner uh, lining thing right here where you, I guess you could separate stuff. I've honestly, I've been putting receipts in here or like my sunglasses when I throw them in there, but usually I just keep it pushed to the side. It does have that little um, leather accent. This is like Louis Vuitton. I don't know, they can physically put these in wherever they want. So this one says it's made in France, but literally you can put the hardware on anywhere and then say that's where it was done. So this was probably made in China and then they put the hardware on in France and then they could say it's made in France. I don't know where the date code is on this thing. I honestly can't say that I've even looked for it. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where the date code is. But I got receipts from the actual store in the boxes. Um, and I'm not complaining about gas prices because this bitch is real. If you gotta pay for gas, you just gotta pay for it. That's just how much it costs. It fucking sucks, but you gotta get to work and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's the bag. I did actually, once I got it, because I wanted a different kind of look for this bag, um, I bought a chain off of Amazon, and it just gives it, like this chain I actually had gotten for the little uh, fanny pack because the the strap that it gave me, I'm a big girl. <laughs> I'm a big boy. But like it was kind of small, so it kind of cut me in half. So I got one of these and it actually changes the total look of the bag. The only downside is that um, when you're trying to shorten the length of the strap or whatever, the drop, um, you do have to like clip the chain to itself and then it just rubs off all that beautiful black paint that they put on there. But honestly, I don't care. This is my bag. I'm not gonna sell it anytime soon or ever because I bought it because I wanted it and I wanted it to be in my family. This is my new bag. I feel like bags are part of my life because they keep so many things inside. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this thing. So it's like, I think it's like a luggage tag. I've never seen anything like this from Louis. Is it upside down? It's upside down. <laughs> but I've never seen anything like this. It's cute. I usually keep it put away because of the way that it attaches. It's just like a little piece of leather with a pop through. Um, so I usually keep it put away, but for this review thingy, I put it in here. Um, I'll sh show some shots of me wearing the bag. Um, but overall, like, it's such a fun bag. Like, it's such a fun bag. I love it so much. Like I said, um, it's just a regular D-shaped bag. Um, you can fit all of your junk in there, and, like, you don't even have to, like, try to fit it a certain way or, like, anything. I do think I'm going to try to get, um, like, a bag shaper or something so that I can put stuff in here organized. See, look, all that stuff, I literally just threw it in here, and now it's in there. And this wallet actually fits in here too. Cause I was having to use my little coin purse as my wallet because it didn't fit in my other bag. Like it just didn't fit. So still all kinds of stuff just fits in here. I'm sure I could get even more stuff in here. I stuck my water bottle in here when I was dry walking down the airport. Oh, this looks so cute though. This looks so pretty. The only reason I took the chain off was the other day I went to get my glass, my eyebrows done at the eyebrow place where they thread them. And I put it on the table. And it hit really hard, so, uh oh, be careful. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So like, that's why I took it off. But otherwise, oh, look at how cool that looks. It's like gunmetal, gunmetal chain from Amazon, like 20 bucks. But it just changes the look of the bag. And it's just so fun. I just like it so much. And then you can flip it around and then no one knows what it is. So if you want to be running around, you don't have all these LVs all over you in the hood, because that's where I was the other day, buying some, some these my muerte stuff. So I kind of felt like, uh oh. <laughs> They're gonna get me. Now it just looks like a normal bag if you flip it around. So, I don't know. It's just such a fun bag. 
like I said, it's gonna be with me for a little while now. I am kind of rough on my bag, so um, I have already preconditioned it. I used um, this treatment thing from Doc Martens. I think it's for shoes, but I put it on here because it made everything so much softer. It made everything so soft. And like, it's already like worn off, I guess, because it's already feeling a little stiff again. Um, but I do have some from Coach and some from some other company that makes it for luxury bags. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you have disposable income. I wouldn't be going and buying Louis Vuitton if you don't have disposable income. If you want, get something like Coach, something entry level, Michael Kors. They all use the same type of material. It's just the quality of the material is gonna be a little bit different. Um, and then, I don't know, it's just cute for me. I'm happy with it. Like this is my happiest bag. And I don't know, it's cute. I think it's cute. And like you just throw it in, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is my gym outfit. No, I don't care. Yes, I know I'm a swollen boy. But anyway, so here's the bag on. Isn't it cute? And like this is the longest, cause like I said, I have to put it on the longest um, setting. And this is the cool like gunmetal, gunmetal metal look. I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, so it's kind of long for me. So what I do, oh, I just ate all kinds of food. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Can't breathe. But I end up doing this situation and it seems like a lot better for me personally. Um, and just where it sits, like it's just so perfect for me. Like, it's just like the perfect length for me. And I can run around and like I said before, um, I can put it this way and you can't even tell what it is. So, <laughs> it's such a cute bag, I'm so happy with it.